welcome to Tri Lights TV. I'm Ryan Burke and I'm here today to talk about the race start. Okay, so first of all you want to have a look at the conditions and analyse you know, what, what the conditions are like and where you may need to start. A good tip is to have a look at the wave starts before you to help determine the conditions and if there's a sweep. They may start in one point and head straight towards the buoy, or they may get swept. It's also a good idea to go for a warm-up before you start your race. Check out our triathlon swim warm-up video to have a good idea of what to do without getting too tired before you race. So where do you start? Well, if you're a stronger swimmer and you've done a few races and are familiar swimming in open water with tight groups of people, it may be a good idea to start at the front. Or if you're just getting started, you've only done a few races and are a little unsure of what to expect, it's a good idea to start towards the back. This way you don't have to worry about people swimming on top of you. If you know a friend or someone that is a faster swimmer, don't be afraid to draft off them in the water. Try and sit on their feet or on their hip and they should drag you along. So for a beach entry start, you're going to run into the water. When entering the water, you want to lift your knees nice and high and flick your feet to the side so they don't drag along the water. Just like Ryan is showing us here. Once the water reaches your thighs, you need to start porpoising, which is the fastest way to move through the water at this step. Once the water then reaches up to your belly button, it's now time to start swimming. Any stroke is allowed, but freestyle is obviously the best and fastest option. So to the swim exit, don't stand up until your hand has touched the sand. You may see the bottom, but it'll be deeper than what it actually looks. So touch it with your hand, Porpoise a couple of times while the water is around your thighs. Start running while it's around your knees. Lift them nice and high, flicking your feet out so they don't drag along the water. And coming out, if you've got your wetsuit on, as soon as you hit the sand, you want to keep your hands free but still see where you're going. So put your goggles on your head, or you can keep them on if they're clear and not foggy. Take your wetsuit down to your waist while you are running. Then when your arms are out, take your goggles and cap off. And when you come to your transition spot, roll your weddy all the way down as far as it can go. With the help of Silic 15, it should just slide straight off. Hopefully you'll have a faster and easier race next time you race. And for more great tips, stay tuned to Tri-Alliance TV.